Hello everyone, my name is Anila and welcome to my channel AH Academy. Today we'll be doing a part 1 of a 2 week series on the basics of mathematics. Before we go forward, let's just take 2 seconds to get rid of all the hatred, all the pain that math has caused us. Because going forward, we are going to be positive people and we are going to overcome maths because maths ain't got nothing on us. Okay? So let's get our books, get our pens and let's get going. We will now look at sign rules. There are four rules to consider. Firstly, a positive multiplied by a positive would equal to a positive value. A negative multiplied by a negative would equal to a positive value. And those two points can be grouped as one. Thirdly, if we have a positive multiplied by a negative, it would equal to a negative. And lastly, a negative multiplied by a positive would equal to a negative. And these two can be grouped together as one. We can then summarize our rules by saying, same signs when multiplied or divided will always equal to a positive value. And different signs when multiplied or divided will always be equal to a negative value, as can be seen by our rules above. So that is our main takeaway from our sign rules. So we'll move on to some examples. Firstly, we'll start with multiplications. We have our rules at the top right hand corner of our page. So first, our first example, if we have a positive five, and then that is multiplied by a positive three, then according to our rule number one, if we have a positive multiplied by a positive, that will equal to a positive number. And 5 multiplied by 3 would give us 15, which makes our answer a positive 15. Our second example, if we have negative 5, and that is multiplied by a negative 3, then according to our rule number 2, Negative multiplied by a negative gives us a positive value, which makes our answer a positive 15, 5 multiplied by 3. Our third example, if we have a positive 5, and that is multiplied by a negative 3, according to rule number 3, positive number multiplied by a negative number equal to a negative number so and then 5 multiplied by 3 would equal to 15 would equal to 15 so our answer is a negative 15 example 4 if we have a negative 5 multiplied by a positive 3 our rule number 4 states that negative multiplied by a positive would equal to a negative value. Therefore, our answer is a negative 15. We will now move on to some further examples, but we are now going to be dividing. We now have our rules on our right hand side of our page once again, but now this is in terms of division. So for our first example, if we are to consider a positive 15, divided by a positive 5, that will be equal to a positive 3, according to our first rule, which says a positive divided by a positive is equal to a positive 3. For our second rule, if we are to consider a negative 15, and divided by a negative 5, this would be equal to a positive 3. If we were to look at this in terms of our uh, in terms of a fraction, we can see that a negative 15 divided by a negative 5, the two negatives will cancel. That's how we have a positive 3 as our answer. And this goes according to our second rule, which is a negative divided by a negative would give us a positive. Third example, 
positive 15 divided by negative 5. According to our third rule, a positive divided by a negative is equal to a negative. And 15 divided by 5 would equal to 3. Therefore, our answer is a negative 3. Example 4, if we have negative 15 divided by positive 5, this would be equal to a negative 3. This, is, this goes with our fourth rule, which says a negative divided by a positive would equal to a negative. If we're to go back to example 3, and if we write this in the form of a fraction, a positive 15 divided by 5, there is nothing to cancel. We don't have two, same, two, two similar signs. We don't have a positive and a positive or a negative and a negative, so they cannot cancel. Hence, our answer would be a negative. Adding and subtracting with signs. Our number line represents a positive to our right and a negative to our left. Example 1. If we have a positive 3 plus positive 2, we have two positive signs together, which means we need to multiply them. And a positive multiplied by a positive, according to our sign rule, equals to a positive. The 3 represents where we are on the number line. Our positive means we need to go to our right. And the 2 represents we go 2 places to our right, which gives our answer as a positive 5. Example 2. We have a negative 3 plus a negative 2. We now have a positive and a negative together, so we multiply this. According to our sign rule, a positive multiplied by a negative gives us a negative. If we are to rewrite this, we now have a negative 3 minus 2. Our negative 3 tells us where we are on our number line. Our negative indicates that we need to go to our left. And our 2 states that we need to go 2 places to our left, which gives our answer as a negative 5. Now moving on to example 3. We now have a value of negative 3. And that is minus, minus a negative 2. Now we have two negative signs together. And as we mentioned before, we now need to consider our sign rule. A negative multiplied by a negative gives us a positive. Now, if we were to rewrite this again, we would have a negative 3 plus 2. We know our plus indicates we need to go to our right. And our 2 means we need to go two places. So we're on negative 3 on our number line. Moving two places to our right, we will have our answer as a negative 1. Something to note as well when working questions like these. If we have two numbers, our sign will take the number with the highest value. So in this question, 3 had the highest, hold the highest value, it was higher than 2, and 3 was negative, so our answer was a negative 1. So our final example, we have negative 3 plus 6. We know we're on a negative 3 on the number line. And we're going plus, which means we're going to our right. And we're going six places to our right, which makes our answer a positive three. Another trick that we can take away from this is logically looking at our question. We know that our answer must take the sign of the number with the highest value. In our example for six, has the, is higher than 3. Therefore, our answer has to be a positive because our 6 is a positive number. 
So in a summary of today's lessons, we can conclude that 1. Same signs when multiplied or divided will always be equal to a positive value. Secondly, different signs when multiplied or divided would always be equal to a negative value. 3. When adding or subtracting different signs, the answer will take the sign of the larger number. And also you should note that you should always use brackets, especially if you're a beginner or you're learning maths from the start. This would help you to minimize mistakes and help with the confusion. This brings us to the end of this week's lesson. If you've watched to the end, I know that you're interested in learning maths, and I believe you can. Remember, the first thing you need in order to learn maths is a positive mindset, and with that you can accomplish anything. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Please like and subscribe, and feel free to drop a comment below of topics that you would like to see covered on this channel. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye.